Peter Gmail. 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 Mail. Gmail. Sheikh Pierre Gmail, also spelled Gmail, Gmail or Al Jumail Arabic, by LJMYWL, 6 November 1905, 29 August 1984, was a Lebanese political leader. He is remembered as the founder of the Kati Party, also known as the Falangist Party, as a parliamentary power broker, and as the father of Bachir Gemayel and Amin Gemayel, both of whom were elected to the presidency of the Republic in his lifetime. He opposed the French mandate over Lebanon in the late 1930s and early 1940s and advocated an independent state, free from foreign control. He was known for his deft political maneuvering, which led him to take positions which were seen by supporters as pragmatic, but by opponents as contradictory or even hypocritical. Although publicly sympathetic to the Palestinian cause, he later changed his position due to Palestinian support of the Lebanese national movement and its calls to end the national pact and establish non-sectarian democracy. Jemail also had a career in football in the 1930s, captaining the Lebanon national team as a player. He also became the first Lebanese football referee to officiate matches internationally and was the second president of the Lebanese Football Association between 1935 and 1939. Early Life and Education Pierre Gemayel was born on 6 November 1905 in Bikfaya, Lebanon into a Maronite family. His father Amin Bachir Gemayel, known as Abu Ali, and his uncle were forced to flee to Egypt after being sentenced to death in 1914 for opposing Ottoman rule, returning to Lebanon only at the end of World War I. Jamil was educated at Jesuit school. He went on to study pharmacy at the French Faculty of Medicine in Beirut, where he later opened a pharmacy. He owned a pharmacy in Haifa, Palestine. The pharmacy was located in Sahat al Hanatir Carriage Square. Jamil also took an interest in sport, playing football, in 1935, he became president of the Lebanese Football Association, LFA. The same year, he became Lebanon's first referee to officiate internationally. As captain of the Lebanon national team, Jamil attended the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, alongside Hassim Sejan, the former LFA president. After the Games, he also visited various Central European countries. Jamil remained president of the LFA, until 1939. Foundation of Katib Party On his return to Lebanon from Europe, in 1936, Jemail founded al Katib al Laubnania Party Falangist Party A, K.A. Katib Party with Georges Nakesh, Charles Helu, Chafik Nassif, and Hamid Frangi, who was later replaced with Emil Yerd, modeling the party after the Spanish and Italian fascist parties he had observed there. Jemail was also influenced from the Sokol movement of Czechoslovakia during this visit to the Central Europe after the 1936 Olympic Games and employed the doctrine of this movement while founding the Kati Party. Kati Party is described as a right-wing Christian party. The foundation of the Syrian Social Nationalist Party by Anton Sade in 1932 was the trigger for the establishment of the Kati Party since the former actively tried to influence Lebanon towards the Syrian interests, leading to direct challenge for Lebanese nationalists. The founders of the Kati party were young, French-educated, and middle-class professionals who committed to independent and Western-oriented Lebanon. Charles Helou, who later served as Lebanon's president from 1964 to 1970, was one of the founders. By the time of his presidency, however, Helu was no longer a party member, and Jemail unsuccessfully opposed him in the presidential election of 1964. Career In the years before and after Lebanon's independence, Jemail's influence and that of the Khatib party was limited. It survived a French attempt to forcibly dissolve it in 1937 and took part in an uprising against the French mandate in 1943, but despite its membership of 35,000, it operated on the fringes of Lebanese politics. 
It was not until the Civil War of 1958 that Jemail emerged as a leader of the right-wing nationalist mainly Christian movement that opposed a Nasserist and Arab nationalist-inspired attempt to overthrow the government of President Kamil Chamoun and supported the return. Then, in the aftermath of the war, Jemail was appointed a cabinet minister in a four-member unity government. Two years later, Jemail was elected to the National Assembly from a Beirut constituency, a seat he held for the rest of his life. In 1958, Jemail was appointed deputy to then Prime Minister Rashid Karami. By the end of the 1960s, the Kati party held nine seats in the National Assembly, making it one of the largest groupings in Lebanon's notoriously fractured and sectarian parliament. Although his bids for the presidency in 1964 and 1970 were unsuccessful, Jemail continued to hold cabinet posts intermittently throughout the remaining quarter century of his life. For instance, he was Minister of Finance from 1960 to 1961 and in 1968, and the Minister of Public Works in 1970. Lebanon has long been a battleground in the Israeli-Arab conflict, and Jemail's position was always solid and consistent advocating a Lebanon separated from the other Arab states and linked to France and the West. He opposed the presence of the Palestinian refugees. His supporters viewed this as a sign of strength and patriotism, while his detractors saw it as incoherent. Jemail reluctantly signed the Cairo Agreement, of 1969 under enormous pressure from the international community which allowed Palestinian guerrillas. He later defended his actions, saying that Lebanon really had no choice. In the 1970s, he came to oppose the armed Palestinian presence in Lebanon. The Khatib created a military security council led by William Howey, which came to be commanded by Jemail's son Bachir upon the assassination of Howey. Jemail was also to reverse his position on the Syrian intervention in the Lebanese Civil War of 1975 to 1990. He initially welcomed Syrian intervention on the side of the Christians and against the Lebanese national movement, but he soon became convinced that Syria was occupying Lebanon for reasons of its own. In 1976, he joined other mainly Christian leaders, including former President Kamil Chamoun, the diplomat Charles Malik, and the Guardians of the Cedars leader Etienne Sacker to oppose the Syrians. On 11 October 1978, Jamail bitterly denounced the Syrian military presence, and the Lebanese front joined the Lebanese regular army in a successful Hundred Days War against the Syrian army. Later Years and Death Jamail saw his younger son, Bachir Jamail, elected president of Lebanon on 23 August 1982 only to be assassinated on 14 September, nine days before his scheduled inauguration. Bachir's older brother, Amman Jemail, was elected to replace him. Pierre Jemail himself initially stayed out of Amman Jemail's government, but in early 1984, after participating in two conferences in Geneva and Loss and Switzerland, aimed at ending the civil war, and the occupation of the country by Israeli troops in 1982, he agreed to serve once more in a cabinet of national unity. He served as the Minister of Public Health and Communications in the cabinet led by then Prime Minister Karami. Jemail was still in office when he died of a heart attack in Bikfaya on 29 August 1984. He was at the age of 78. Jemail's body was buried next to Bashir, Jemail's grave in Bikfaya on 30 August 1984. Personal Life Jemail was married to Genevieve Jemail, and they celebrated the 50th anniversary of their marriage in August 1984. They had six children. His younger son, Bachir Jemail, was assassinated on 14 September 1982 after being elected to the presidency. His grandson Pierre Amine Jemail, then industry minister, was similarly assassinated on 21 November 2006. Several other descendants of Pierre Jemail, including two grandchildren, were also murdered during the Civil War period. 